software updates are a necessary, although often annoying requirement when it comes to your digital devices. Will it take five minutes, five hours? How often should you take the time to update? And what's at stake if you put them off or decide not to do them at all? An update can be something very minor, like a new logo on your weather app, or all-encompassing, like your phone rolling out an entirely new operating system, or anywhere in between. Generally, your best bet is to update your devices as soon as you're aware that there's one available. Most updates nowadays will be pushed directly to your devices and will come with a quick breakdown of what exactly is being updated. Which is handy, because a given update typically falls into one of three categories, and in terms of security, they all have varying degrees of importance. The first type is feature updates. Sometimes these are purely aesthetic, but sometimes they introduce a new capability or workflow. Although they can be controversial because of how they can change a feature that you're already used to. Like when Apple moved the iPhone's alarm feature from the clock to health apps. Overall though, nothing serious to worry about here. They're worth downloading, but just do it when you get a moment. The next type is bug fixes. These are changes that address glitches, errors, or performance issues. They tend to be more important because they can directly affect functionality, but they can usually hold off a little while. The third and most important updates are security related. Typically having little to no impact on the user side of the software, these are the ones that protect you from hackers, malware, and other risks. Hackers are always prodding and poking software. Once they realize there's a vulnerability, they'll exploit it. So install these updates as soon as you can. It's also worth taking a look at the notification, outlining what's in an update. Frequently, app developers will bundle a number of changes falling into more than one category into the same update. That notification is great so you know what's being fixed, but it's also a public reminder to any bad actors of where there's a vulnerability in your existing software. So keep that in mind before you decide to put anything off. For those of you who would prefer to not manually keep track of all of this, most devices now allow you to enable automatic updates. Usually, these can be set to run when your device is not in use, like overnight when you're asleep. Not all devices will receive updates at all though. If you're using an older phone, for example, like an iPhone 6, your device will be vulnerable. The reason being, it's impractical for companies to always support every device they've ever supported. And unfortunately, some companies, whether they sell internet-connected cameras or smart appliances, don't issue updates at all. Luckily, according to the Wall Street Journal, 40% of people say they have automatic updates enabled, while only 3% refuse to install updates at all. For that 3%, a common but erroneous belief is that not updating their devices will actually be safer. It's understandable if you decided you didn't want the latest version of Windows and instead wanted to stay with Windows XP, but doing so makes your devices significantly more vulnerable to compromise. That's because every bug fix and security patch represents a known issue in the existing software, and the older the software gets without an update, the more known issues there are to exploit. So in short, updates are your friend. Sure, sometimes an app or device may introduce new features that we all hate, and that may make it tempting to not update at all. But for the sake of security, updating is one of the most important things you can do. Happy web surfing.